Hey guys, happy Monday. How's it going? Um, we're listening to Christmas music we are. and awesome. we're thinking about <laughs> baking. So we are introducing our brand new Baker Boss Bundle, BBB, Baker Boss Bundle. Say that three times fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so look at this. Are these the most so adorable cute. designs ever? You know, we thought about it a lot of times in December and January. What are we all doing? Baking. We're baking. Yeah. And, and cooking, and all in general. <laughs> and absolutely. And there are a lot of people that love baking. That's their hobby. Yes, absolutely. My, a lot of people, it's their profession. Uh, I have a friend who jumped right in, like left her job and jumped into um, cookies. And they're the most beautiful things I've ever seen. She's in Nashville. They're Decorative beautiful. cookies. Oh, gosh, so oh I know. I love those. So but it was kind of fun. This weekend on Saturday, I had the ladies. Hey, Lori, how are you? I had the ladies um, that were part of a Way Out program come by Saturday to make gifts. All the beautiful things. And we had a great time. But Cassandra is one of the gals from the a Way Out program. And she, her dream was always to be a baker. And she is working at Sweet, La Sweet Lala's Bakery. Sweet hey, Lala. And so, shout out to Sweet Love. Yes. <laughs> and I went in the back and I got this Baker Boss. Can you see that? And Whisk Taker. Is that I love it. the cutest? Whisk Taker. And I thought she was going to cry. A little she play was so, on words. She was so excited. And so I got some note cards for her and she made some cards. She texted me this morning and she said, okay, here's the deal. I need to be able to buy these because they want me to sell them at the bakery. Yay. It's a really high-end bakery in East Memphis here in town. And I thought, how fun is that? How She's gonna be able sweet. to make these and turn around and sell them. And so, um, if you don't know, we do sell the cards and the envelopes we do. on our website for you to be able to make them. Yay. So, um, And they're a you. really nice card stock. They're really nice. They are. So, just seeing that question as far as um, asking about my dad, thank you so much. My dad is doing a lot better. He kicked double pneumonia. Go, Dad. Yes, he kicked it. So That's awesome. I don't know how many 101-year-old people can um, do that. Can't wait till they're back in stock. Wait a minute. They are in stock. We'll check on it. Do you want to go check? Mm -hmm. Go say something to Brooke, and we will, um, we're going to check on that right now. So Michelle will be back, like, in two shakes because we want to make sure they are in stock. They just launched today, so I know that they were checking on that, so I want to make sure that we have this and it's available for you because these are two really fantastic stencils. So um, we're going to show you, we've got some cute projects that we're going to be doing with them. This one, this one is geared towards, of course, pets, candies, um, jars, everything that you want to be able to have like in your kitchen that you can make. Thank you. Thank you so much about my sweet daddy. Um, and then this is all about really and truly somebody that bakes. Now, you know, we've got my board here. I love having vintage boards that you can do chalk art on because that way you can wipe them off or you can do more um, permanent products that these would be so cute on. Hey, Cindy. But look at this. These are some, I want to be able to show you. This was actually a jar. Is that, does that show up on camera? Can you see that? How that's been etched? Do you love those big letters and the shadow underneath it? Um, this is actually a jar that Michelle keeps her coffee in at her house. And so she took the stencil and the etching cream and made made that on there and look at this and then it has the coffee bean on the back are we good it says everything is in stock yep it says everything is in stock so everybody you're good to go thank you so much for you're checking welcome. on that michelle so this is just a darling little jar that she had her coffee in that <laughs> on her coffee bean on one side and then jar on the other and that's what's so great about this one because depending on what it is what it is that you have that you keep in your jar and y'all know we have Theo, our office dog, and we're absolutely gonna make this for him and put some dog treats in it. So He has treats here at the office, like he needs his own little jar. Absolutely. So, and here's the deal. Maybe you're still in um, craft making mode 
then you could order this. And I will tell you, we have made a decision, a corporate decision, as of last week, because of USPS shipping so slowly, yes. that we're shipping um, everything two-day FedEx Express. So that way, um, if you order this today, it'll go out two-day um, FedEx Express. So that way you'll have it really quickly. So that way you can still make some gifts with it Absolutely. Um, for the holidays. All right, so we wanna just show you how to make some of these. Or make gonna, yourself an apron so that you look cute when everybody shows would up. Would that be <laughs> so cute? Yes. You're like, hi, I'm a whisk taker. Okay, so can you see this? I'm gonna take, I'll let you have this one. Okay. All right, so um, We're gonna I'm gonna take, the um, this is one I'm gonna be really bad. Today I'm gonna show you something that I'm, it's okay. <laughs> She's the owner of the company. I can she get in trouble. really get in trouble. So, hey guys, so if you are, if you're watching this for the first time, welcome. My name Hi. is Amy and this is Michelle. And we are part of a maker studio and we take out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to be able to show you how to be able to use our products and also introduce new ones. So usually on Mondays, we introduce a brand new product that you've never seen before or a kit. And today we're really excited about because this is our new Baker Boss bundle and it's on sale. Um, They're so cute. And it also has the jar. So you get both of these. Both and them. yes, Theo this does need a bigger jar. So this is a bundle. You get two of them <laughs> and they are discounted. Jar. But you can buy them individually if you want to, but they just launched today. Together. They're brand new. Ta -da! So, um, Sherry, just call the office. Um, call the office up here and um, you will talk to a live person and they will find it. And if they can't find it, they'll ship you another one. They'll so don't worry. They'll, they'll take care of you. So call the office ASAP. All right. So um, I've got this one and I'm going to be making a note card. And we're going to turn this down because we want to be able to show you how to do it. So we've got our cute little wood board here that is what I like to use in my kitchen. I'm going to let you have that. Okay. And you got this at the Dollar Tree, didn't you? I did, you? absolutely. Guys, can you believe that this was at the Dollar Tree? What a cute thing to have in your kitchen. I mean, like, that's... And they have lots of colors. They have navy and red and gray and turquoise. I'm, like, I'm colors. Love it. I love the gray, though. Oh, I do, too. That's really Super adorable. Classy. I didn't know that the Dollar Tree had these. They do. Yeah, so cute. So are you going to show them? Yeah, I I can show them. <laughs> nope, I'm not going to show you? them that. What, are you gonna show do, them? Why don't you show them how right? to etch? This is the one I'm going to do. You're doing special. Yes. Okay, so I'll etch the candy. Did you guys see the candy jar? Did Amy show it? Is that so cute? So we have that little roll of candy. So it's got candy on it, and then I filled it with kisses from Jeff. This that is Jeff, he makes sure Michelle has all kinds of candy kisses, so she's thinking about he him does. all the time. That when I miss him, I have what I need. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. I told him that this weekend. I was like, honey, I just found some more kisses in my closet. <laughs> but I didn't know that I had hidden them there. Because <laughs> the kids will eat it? Yes. So, guys, as you pop Scissors, on, Thank as you, you pop on, please tell us where you're tuning in from. And guess what? If you have to, I have to look at you for just a second while I take this. Here's the deal. If you don't know what we do. Every time we do one of these Facebook Lives, if you tag three friends and you share the video, your name will go in for a drawing. Absolutely. Well, we're going to be giving away this Baker Boss stencil. Um, so we'll be giving away this, this single stencil that has all of these designs on it to the lucky person that we will draw day after tomorrow and we'll post that you want it. So all That's you have to exciting. do is share the video. It I is. Know. It is exciting. Tag and share. Hey, Caprisa. It's both a, steps, tag a, and share. Tag and share. So just share the video with with on your page and then tag three friends. Tag three friends. And your friends like seeing stuff like this. Seriously. It's like, oh, well, that's so fun. I didn't know that. Hey, Molly from Kansas. Hey, Hope. Um, so, all right, so I'm going to turn this down, and I'm going to get in trouble, and it's okay. So, um, all right. I'm so, just going to be over here etching while Amy's talking no, about you, the fun you talk, she's doing. you talk to them about that, and then I'm going to do this over here. Oh, okay, so then I'm talking, and she's being sneaky over there. I see. I actually off-registered my candy just a little bit. I made it go across the jar because I thought it was cute. I didn't want it to be just straight across. So... Um, you can position it however you want. It's an adhesive stencil and it can move and go and play. So I'm going to do it just a little bit. 
but I'm trying to stay away from the rounded edge so that uh, I don't have etching cream under there because I want the stencil to really hug the glass. So what I'm doing right now is just burnishing. I want it to be on there really good so I don't get any bubbles. And then etching cream, medium, and an artist brush is all I need. And I am going to be able to... Guys, if you've never etched etch. before... It's so fun. It's fun. It's easy. The gals Saturday when we were working here in the studio, they were all um, etching and they all turned out adorable. It's absolutely great. And with our stencils, it's next to error proof. It's just so awesome because they're so detailed. And it one thing goes everybody on there too so needs to nice. know it's more is better. Yes. Normally you say less is better. Uh -uh. Not on this product. <laughs> every, every, now like you don't want to load up the ink. You don't, you want to be really careful how much ink you use. Yes. Same but, thing with chalk art. Yes. But when you, and ceramic paint, Cer you want to be Especially really careful. Especially with ceramic paint. But with the etching cream is totally different. Load you want to make down. sure that it's loaded up. And of course, the dark color, if this is your first time just kind of to watch us, our stencils are adhesive. They have an adhesive back to them. And so you will peel them away like Michelle did. And they, they're great because you can kind of reposition them mm -hmm. on the glass. And so she's loading up with our etching cream and having it to where it's gonna kind of completely cover that mesh area. So what's gonna happen is the design underneath is what's going to show up. Do you want yeah. to hand me that really quickly? Absolutely. So this is what she's working on. And the, it's so cute because it, it allows you to be able to make this adorable little candy dish. And it's easy. It's permanent. It's actually etched into the glass. Yeah. The only time this really doesn't work, I've noticed, is on Pyrex. Yes. And I think it's because those are made to be scratch resistant. Correct. Correct. So that way... So they've got something added to give them a little. So let's something. show let's show everybody. See how much she has on there as far as that design. This is what it looks like afterwards. So you can kind of see, but you want to load it up. And Michelle, how long does that need to stay on there? So I usually, you guys have seen me. I'm just kind of like going on and on. So I usually do that. I agitate what I call it for about a minute and a half to two minutes, and then I'm going to peel the stencil. I'm going to wash the stencil, but I'll let this sit for another five minutes or so, and then I will rinse it off. And the, here's the funny thing, and we're going to wait. If you want to go on and yeah. show them how to clean the stencil. So we just have a little tub of water with us when we're crafting. Amy and I always have a tub of water, and I literally just lay the stencil down in. I don't want to put it in there yet. I just put it in the water and I've got a sponge. You can use a seawool sponge, you can use your fingers, it does not matter. Um, and then we just make sure that we get all the etching cream off the front and the back. And we're gonna lay it adhesive side up on the table to dry. And that's it. That's it. That's it, guys. Once it's dry, it's ready to go back on the backing and you can use it again. Do you wanna pop your um, brush in there? I do. And actually, we still need that water over here because of do you yes. mean the... You ready to wash that? Um, we want to let it sit for a minute. You can. Okay, so we're going to let that sit for just a minute. And I want to be able to show you, this is what I'm going to get in trouble about. <laughs> um, I'll let Michelle get ready to do this. So that's going to be your stencil that's going to go on there. And guys, we got this as the Dollar Tree. Is this not the cutest? Dollar Tree. Not so, only that, they have the flat ones too, Amy, that you can like slide your hand into and pick something up with or leave them as a trivet on the table. I love, okay. They have those too. So. There were options. I, I just want to say this. Th I, just imagine. <laughs> so let's say you're going to make a gift for someone and maybe it's later, maybe it's a happy. I love, I think we are entering into a whole new season of dinner parties. Oh, I hope so. Oh my I gosh. miss meeting. I think we're going I back. Miss Yes. I like that small, get-together, intimate, precious time. So, when we go over to people's um, uh, houses for dinner, then to you always take them happy. a little happy. And, I mean, come on. How sweet is Going that to happy? the Dollar Tree and making this, but especially if they like cooking and yes. they love baking, you could make them some cards. The reality is it's the thought that counts. Oh, it's, totally. I took totally. A, a second out to tell you thank you before I even got here. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> I'm so glad I get to spend time with you. Here's a little 
Thank you. I love you, happy. Two that you made it. Now, look at this. This is our favorite, y'all. We've been talking about it all whisk day. Whisk taker. But <laughs> it's it, this so would smart. be the cutest apron. So you could make the, um, the Baker Boss into a really cute... <laughs> And then do an apron out of a whisk taker and then make her some thank Little you cards. Little thank you cards. I mean, well, it doesn't get better than that. Or maybe you bake. And maybe this is something you need. You would enjoy doing too. So, all right. So, let me show you. Michelle's going to... Uh, wipe off that etching cream. So be sure if you're just now popping on, welcome. My name is Amy. This is Michelle. We're with the Maker Studio and we're introducing our brand new bundle called the Baker Boss Bundle. And Deborah, I think it's $29. I don't know what you said. I think I said. <coughs> that sounds about right. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. It's $29 for the bundle. All right, so let me turn this down. So here's what I'm going to get in you're trouble about. These are not available yet, as far as what I'm getting ready to show you, but look at this. These will go live on Wednesday, but I wanted to be able to show you how to add just a little bit of black that and gold. So amazing. So this is our new gold metallic ink that we'll be introducing on Wednesday. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on I wanted to do my letters in gold. Mm -hmm. That's so pretty. Ooh. So you can use the ink on fabric like we did on the on mitt. Well, do you gray? Because that's like the photo. Okay. That they saw, that they see. Yeah. Sorry. No. Just it's took okay. your excitement away. It's pretty. So I'm doing my, the top and the bottom of my letters in one color. So pretty. Like this. Do we have any paper towels? No, but I just got this. Okay. I'm All like, right. no, but I just got that to dry off. Wipe that so. off. All right, now I'm going to come back with my black ink. And I'm going to squeeze out just a tiny bit. It doesn't take much. Not at all. And then I'm just going to do the center like this. The detail on this brand new stencil, guys, is just amazing. Yes, it is. There's so many cute, cute, cute designs on it and sayings that you could mix it up. Make an adorable chalkboard. You can use the inks like this and make some stationery. You want to be able to hold your spreader at a 45 degree angle so you are scraping it so it pushes it through that mesh. Literally, I have ink left over. It takes so little. So be sure when you're working, be sure and put this cap back on like this. All right, so now I'm just going to lift the edge. This. Can you see this? It's so pretty. Look at that. Is that the cutest? Are y'all loving that? Look at that. Is that not the cutest note card? If you got that from somebody, would you not be going like, oh my gosh, where in the world did they get that? Right? Give us this day our daily bread. And... Hold on, I need you. So the cool thing about it is, guys, we do have these cards and envelopes. The quality of them are great. I did this to where, that way when you send a card, it would be the equivalent if you'd gone and spent $22 at a great gift shop right. and bought a card. Like a stationary so, company. Um, love, 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 love that. All right, so Michelle. Yes, ma'am. Can I have the water real quick? I just want to show everybody. I'm going to rinse my stencil. So sometimes the inks will have a tendency to stain it just a little bit. That's okay. But it will wash right out of the mesh. If you're working on several cards, you can just you don't have to you don't have to rinse it. Just keep on going. Now, if you were working with ceramic paint, 
And making mugs, you better clean them. Yes. You don't want it to dry in the mesh. You do not. And yeah. just remember, the darker the color you have, the more staining you'll probably have because it's got more pigment. Yeah. But as long as your mesh is cleaned out, you are good to go. All right. Are you ready to rinse our etching cream? We are. Yay. All right, so now we've got our two mitts. Are these the cutest? All right. We'll set so these over here. I'm not worried about other things in my water because I'm just rinsing it off. I want to come up here so that way they can see. So I, um, at home, I just turn my water on and let the water run. But you can just... Use your water and it looks like it disappears. I promise you it doesn't. So I'm just taking the water and making sure I get the etching cream. That's what's so funny. It scares people. The They're glass. going, wait a minute, it's disappearing. What did I do? And I did I'll something wrong. And you did not. So as I dry it, let me move this water for just a second so I don't get it in it. You're gonna see it really show up. Yes, so, so cute. Love it. Show the guys Look that are just now coming baby. on as far as your jar in this bundle that has this really cute um, stencil with the jar on it. We need to probably show them that. Look at this, guys. Is This this is what she did, her coffee jar. There's a coffee bean. A huge coffee bean. the word jar. jar. It's so cute. Look at this. Can you That's see cute. it? Cute. So that way, and it's got dog Come treats. On. So that way you can see the word jar. And what she did, but also it's and like it's so, look at this big like, paw. The detail is precious. Yes. It oh, really and I love is. the cookies too. The kids saw that one this morning. Like cookies, cookies. I'm like, no. That way, make a cute little cookie <laughs> jar. Cookie jar. <laughs> All right. So if you're just now popping on, please, guys, if you share this video and tag three friends, um, your name will go in for a drawing day after tomorrow. We'll be giving away the Maker Ball stencil. Yeah. And I want you to show. I want to show you this again. Oh this is gosh, what I, I made with that. the Maker Ball stencil. Is this like the cutest? But here's something else I want you to do. So this is going to be my envelope that this is going to go in. And what I want to do is I always, when I have envelopes and I've actually made my stationery, I want to do something special on the back. So, so cute. I'm going to, on the same stencil, you get this sheaf of wheat. And I'm just going to peel this off. And I'm going to lay the sheaf of wheat to wear it when I actually look at like to seal it. Yes. So, so that way, there. Yes. look at that. So now, are you getting me? Like, is this like the cutest? Yes. So I'm gonna go on and take some of my... You're gonna do gold or you're yep. gonna do black? Nope. Yes. So regal. Oh, gold wheat. Yep. Golden wheat. <laughs> Man, I love our new metallics. Are super pretty. All right. So, can I yummy. give you that? Yes, ma'am. <gasps> the detail, y'all. I can't even. Look at that. So. Now, so I'm going to give that to Michelle. She's going to rinse Great. that off for me. Now, look at this. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. What a sweet thank you. So now that way, it, the card flips up so I can write a nice little note on there. But guys, even if you, like a lot of you have Etsy shops and you have thing, a ways that you're getting ready for craft shows yes. um, in the spring or and then maybe even in January, this is a timeless card that, let me open this, any body, sorry for being, Wampa Crooked. Um, oh, crooked. Uh, would love to be able to have. So, Deb, is that Deb? What am I using to apply the ink? I am using, using one of our spreaders. Yeah. And we cut the spreaders up. Do we Into have a small big pieces? One? I can find So, we one. have these larger spreaders that you can get on the website. And we just cut them up to where they're small little pieces to be able to work with. Um, they're so easy to be able to apply the inks um, or anything with that matter on our stencils. And so this is how big they are. You'll find them on the website. They're 50 cents. They're under uh, tools. And um, we just literally take scissors to them. They're very thin, but they're a heavy plastic. And we just cut them the size we want them. 
and that allows us to be able to push the ink, uh, the chalk art, mm -hmm. or whatever through the stencil to be able to create a chalkboard. Anything. Anything. You can use it. You can use it with etching cream. We like using a brush a with brush. The etching cream strictly because you want to load it up, and that when way, when it gets in the, it gets in the mesh really nicely yes. when you use a brush. Yes. Lori, all you have to do is call the office. You can talk to me or Margaret and Lee and them, and they and will help. help you track your package. Um, and if it's been lost, then they will go on and send it out FedEx. So just call them, and they'll take care of you. You know, this is one thing I, that was part of the reason why we made the decision from now on to ship our packages FedEx Express yes. um, because people want to be able to get them. Absolutely. And USPS has seen that they had 15 million extra packages a day that they were delivering in addition to what they're normally doing. Yeah. So um, that's pretty crazy. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. We are excited about our new Baker Boss bundle that allows you to be able to make all these adorable new projects using our inks, our etching creams, our chalk arts. But you're going to want to get this stencil. And we do have it on sale it uh, for just a few days. Mm -hmm. They're discounted. So you get both of these stencils that would make great gifts. And then Absolutely. even part of your craft fairs, all kinds of stuff that you want to be able to do um, in the new year. Are you ready for 2021? Can we get through Christmas first? <laughs> no. I just want to get out in a new year. I hear I, I bar, She's I, ready to turn the page. I'm like ready yesterday. to turn the page. Yes, I really am. That's, I, I'm ready. I hear you. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not ready quite yet for Christmas, but I will be. So anyway, all right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and watching this. Again, if you share this video, tag three friends. Your name will go on for a drawing that we will make on Wednesday, and then we'll be announcing the winner, um, and you'll be able to make these. Yay! Have a great day, guys. Bye See you on Wednesday.